Hi, and welcome to Music and Coding Exploration. In this video, we'll give a quick overview of computer programming and see how we can use block coding to create our own music beats. So let's jump in. Computer programs are the way we communicate with computers and give them instructions. With programs, we can make all kinds of things from the apps we use, to social media platforms, to video games, and much more. Giving instructions to a computer is kind of like the way a pianist tells their fingers which notes to play. But did you know computer programming is also used to make many parts of music productions? Today, you'll create your own music by making computer programs. We'll be using JavaScript, which is one of today's most widely used programming languages. Let's see how we can use programming to make our own music. Welcome to the CodeHS Beat Editor. So there's a couple of things I want to point out to make your job a little bit easier. So first of all, you're going to notice this song block. This is our main block. Anything inside of this block is going to play over on the right hand side when I hit the play button. Now on the left hand side, this is my library of different blocks that I have. And you'll notice that they're color coded by the types of blocks that they are. I'm going to point out a few, but you can explore some additional ones on your own. So the first thing you want to notice is that we have a measure block. Every song has to have measures, and we're going to take and drop a measure inside of our song block. You'll notice when I drop it in place, there's a little click. That tells me I have it in the right spot. Next, I'm going to add some beats. Now the beats are here in purple, and when they drop in, not much happens yet, but what I can do is click on a spot here, and every spot where I have a check mark tells the computer program to make a sound at that spot. So now what sound is it going to make? Well, right now there's no sound to be made, so I need to add my sound. So let's go over and we'll drop in a rock sound. Let's also drop in a hip hop sound. But now instead of having a bass kick here, I want this to be a snare. I can use that drop down arrow and change it to a snare sound. Let's add one more. And for this, we'll try a rock and we'll do a bass kick. And let's do the bass kick on the on beats. Okay. Now I can even make my own sound. So if I want to come over here and make my own sound, I can drag this out. Oh, wait, I don't have a place to put it yet. Oh, so if I need to get rid of it, I can get rid of it in a couple of different ways. One way is I can drag it to the trash can. I can also drag it off the screen to the side. Or if it's highlighted in yellow like this, I can hit the delete button on my keyboard and that gets rid of it. Now, if I want to make my own sound, let me first start by dragging out a beats here. And then I'm going to take my own sound and drop it into place. Now this isn't uploaded here. So where do you get your own sound? Well, you come over to this More tab and you click Upload. I can then click on the microphone and it gives me a chance to record. Whoop! Okay, so now I have my own sound. I can copy and paste that URL into this spot here. And we'll put that at the end. Now before we run, let's add a tempo. The tempo is the speed of the music. So we'll start at 120, although that's probably a little bit slow. Let's see what happens. Yeah, not too bad, but let's try speeding that up a little bit. Great. Now that we have something that sounds good, how do we make it look a little bit better? Well, we can use our visualizations to set our on color and our off color. So let's drop those into place. And I can switch the color by clicking the color section and picking my colors that I want to use. Now when I play, you'll notice I have different colors. Once you get the beat sounding like you want and the colors looking like you want, you can share this out. Click on the share button, make sure it's public, and then you can copy the URL and share it directly with your friends via email or text message, or you can put it on your favorite social media account. 
Now it's your turn to explore. Make sure you're taking time to create several different versions and explore several different types of instruments. You can even experiment with the synth sounds. So go ahead and have fun.